morning guys welcome to today's video today we are having more guests come to the day by day farm i'm excited sam and i've been doing a little bit of work on the inside the last few days and we haven't showed you you're probably thinking like how how do you have time to do work on the inside yeah we don't so there's not much work that's been done on the inside but but i actually want to get stuff done in here it still doesn't like the farm feels amazing to me the farm feels like home the house does not feel like home so we've been moving stuff around there's only a little bit of stuff we got done on the inside this week but i'm going to show you um my plan all along was to was to put the dogs in a different room the dog crates they only go in their crate when we leave the house and only three of them go in their crates so i didn't want them in this room this room really bothers me in the winter this fall we are going to paint in here and do some other renovations but I wanted to get the dog crates out because this room really feels so bizarre to me. It's because this table can't be centered in the window if it's centered in the room. So that island throws it off. The windows, like it's just such a weird, strange room. But anyway, I put our grandkids' um, toys here. I'm going to hang up that sign and cleaned up the dining room area a little bit. I was able to take out the junk in there. So, and I like it, it looks balanced from here. If you go over here, it even kind of looks balanced. It looks a lot better. You guys are probably wondering, where did I shove the poor puppies? So my plan was always to bring the dogs in this bathroom. This bathroom is huge, like absolutely so huge. So I ended up putting the crates in here. This is where I wanted them to be. And the odd thing is going to be that Ellie will be able to look outside. I don't know if it's going to be a good thing or if it's going to be a bad thing because Ellie actually barks the whole time if she can see us or if she knows that we're outside. If, if she can't hear us and she thinks we're gone, she doesn't bark. So it'll be interesting if she can maybe look out the window, it might distract her. So the last thing that we renovated or the last thing that we, last bit of changes that we made this week where we got new blinds in here. I actually sent Sam to get the blinds. We came home with these. He said they were really expensive. And that's how they work. They go down like that. So it just has this little clip here and you pull it down and then you push it up. I'll show you how to push it up. But anyway, um, they work good. They fit good. These are the only ones that you could get that fit our windows. But the weird thing about them, let's see if I can show you, is that they're, right. They're literally, I can't even show you. They're literally made out of paper. It's like paper. It's like construct, it's like, tissue paper even it's not even like nice paper so um the problem will be when the dogs obviously want to look at the window because that's what they want to do all the time so other than that they're kind of cool i'm happy to have them i'm just happy to have blinds i'm a blind person i love blinds it makes everything feel more homey to me i'm still loving our blanket thing i have one of the blankets in the wash but i'm still loving this thing i'm probably gonna like do something with it to make it look a little bit different, but I love how rustic it is. I like, like, I like it. Also, our pictures on this wall, this room is gonna get painted, I hate yellow. Um, but uh, this picture over here of Chino, when he was at his like healthiest, man, he is so handsome. It was, it was kind of tilted the other day and I said, Gabby, go fix that picture of Chino. I don't want him to look tilted. I want him to be healthy and strong again. Those are the only real changes that we made so far this week. Like we haven't really had time. We're still working on the outside. So this room, um, still have a bunch of stuff to do with this room. I, I love this room. This is one of my favorite rooms in the house. Um, we have to get a shelf for Sam like soon because this is driving me crazy, <laughs> but it's getting empty. Um, these are all my craft stuff. I had it on the toy box that I just showed you I moved. I'm gonna clean out these buckets here and make room for all the craft stuff to go in it because a lot of this stuff is just like stuff that we don't even, like it's just a bunch of craft stuff that we, regardless. I'm gonna try and make room over here for all the craft stuff. But we are getting things cleaned out, you guys. We're getting things set up. When we first moved into this house, it was just about putting everything where we thought it would go or just shoving it in so that it could be 
set up but now that we're actually living in here and it's going to be like fall a little bit we're finding time to move things around and figure out what we need to buy and figure out where everything's going to go so i'll just show you guys as we change things around and keep you guys updated on what's happening in the new farm in other news um we this is what the tree looks like let me show you guys so it was a mess before so this is what it looks like now the this tree here it was the branches were hanging on the ground so now it is all open and cute. I don't know if you guys can see, but I stuck Penny in with, with Chino today because she's getting really chubby. <laughs> Out of all of our horses, she's the one that moderates her weight the least. Like even Gracie does not bad. She's always out there eating. So um, farming is not all about like fixing fences, which it is a lot about fixing fences, but it's also about managing your herd. And when you notice like your horse starting to gain a little bit too much weight, you intervene. And just like people, when you're like, oh, I need to take a break for a couple of days and get my waistline back because you overeat for a few days that she needs. To, I'm just taking her off for a few hours today, maybe a few hours for the next little bit while her weight kind of stabilizes i don't want to end up with another sick horse and that can absolutely happen especially with an aging horse population i'm going to put them out again later this afternoon um but i just want her to have like a little bit of time off the field for her for her health I thought I did too. So today we are having more guests. I didn't eat any. <gasps> did they just fall over? You little bitch. No, Gabby, I was in the car with you. I didn't obviously not eat any. You got pretzels? Uh, not the kind you like. But anyways, we have people coming over today. Family and friends coming over today. So we got some, we're gonna have a little barbecue. Sophie's in charge of pop, putting it in the fridge. I never buy pop ever. Like never buy pop because it's so bad for you. So when I do buy pop, I buy the Where's kind the that my kids don't like so that they won't drink it. But actually they will still drink it, but not as bad as if I bought the kind they love. So now the fall's in the air. I've been trying to make some sourdough bread and this is my starter. I just started it like yesterday, so it's getting there. Before we were farmers, I literally would bake everything. I baked all the time, but now that we're horse farmers, especially, like, ain't nobody got time for that. Three, two, one. If anyone is wondering about the snake in yesterday's video, that's it. It's a dog toy. <laughs> it was a dog toy. Come on, Ellie. Come on. I like to come over here and see. You guys want your girl? She's coming. I'd like to see if the barn is clean. All right, that was a mess, I know. I get it, but I have a lot going on right now, you guys. <laughs> I will fix it, I promise. Clearly Storm threw off his fly mask. I don't know what this means. This is usually what happens when Chino's like not feeling good. He's feeling good, he's feeling good. And then suddenly he's not feeling good and he puts himself in the corner. It's the weirdest thing. Anyway, I love this. Sam must have done. He did a good job today. You want to go back out with your friends? I just left you in for a short time just so that you don't be too chubby. I have to do it too, Penny. I sometimes think it's that Chino wants to get out of the sun. And that's why he does that. Penny literally doesn't really like being with the other horses that much. She likes to stay on her own. It's how she keeps herself safe. But the other horses, just from her not being there this morning, have been missing her. Look, he's sweet on you. She's off. Let's see if I can, oh, nope. I wanted to try and put this on. He's back. <laughs> oh, and the duck and the goose are there. There's your buddies. Sometimes I feel like they take off their fly masks when the eyes get dirty, so I'm always having to wash them and then hang them to let them dry. The weird thing is though, we lost Gracie's fly mask in the move. I don't know where it is. And she's really good about keeping it on, so that's why I wanna find it. Like, 
Obviously, she enjoys a fly mask. You know, still. Yeah, no, I just put her out. So, what, do you, what are these? Explain, Sam. No. I'm so glad you found them. I don't even know if they work. All right, let's try it. That's why I'm trying it. So, we're going someplace tonight with friends. We're going to take you guys because I think it'll be fun. Um, and we're going to need these. Sam bought these. Off Timu. I always buy stuff off Timu that I think I might use. And, well, I guess what? I'm using it. Too small. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's too small. We have to take a different car. <laughs> yeah, we might have to take my van. Wait, does it go farther? It might stretch all the way down. Or maybe that's the wrong one. Maybe we have to get another one. Does that seem bigger? I don't know, but there's a hole here. That's a front one for sure. Yeah, this one's probably for, oh yeah, so it's probably for the mirror. So, Bit. Still kind of small, but as long as it goes on the outside, it should. We can get one down. Yeah. So do you guys? Can you guys guess what this is for? <laughs> roll down the window. Oh, we can't oh, yeah. roll down the window. Like, that fit one. Yeah. So basically, you once you, to... once you roll down the window, you have a screen to protect you from bugs. Mosquitoes. So you can from mosquitoes. From yeah, mosquitoes. Yeah. Those are the bugs that bother us here. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah. Perfect. I bet you the it fits my van good. better. Somehow I got eaten alive by mosquitoes yesterday at that horse show. Yeah, I know. Did you? Yeah. All on my ankles. So this is not that great even on this side. Yeah. I don't know. Those ones aren't going to fit good. But we don't have to roll the window all the way down. Yeah. Oh, for the back. Go up, go up to here. Yeah. All right. Well, that works. It's going to be good anyway for what we're going to be doing. If they had truck ones, they would have got it, but they only had SUV. So. Yeah. So we could only get SUV. So this is the TV that I got. It's a 50 inch. And this is the tiny TV that was in my room. How big is this little TV? 32. I used to have a 32. Yeah. That was for the trailer. Yeah, I only had it... I only had it because we used it for the trailer. Where are we hanging it in here? I might have to take that one saddle rack off and buy a thing for it. So you're thinking putting it right in the middle here? Yeah. But it might get banged all the time when we were lifting saddles off. All right, so my sister and two of my nieces showed up. They're supposed to have more people, but they didn't, they didn't come. And they're meeting our goats for the first time. Oh my gosh, I don't know. Like oh my gosh, hold her. How am I supposed to Just don't put your face near her. Well, that's kind of hard. Oh. Isn't she cute? Oh. She's so cute. I actually want to get hit in the face with the horns. Yeah, I have a lot of times. Ellie's <laughs> scared. Ellie's scared. So if a goat, so what they do at to Ellie? Oh, they want a treat. They're all waiting here for a treat. That's Rosie. Yeah, to They're so cute. Aww. Do you want a hug? The mama goat keeps ramming Ellie. Go figure. Oh, look at her. She's looking right in your face. She's like, oh, are you my mother? <laughs> you have the same color hair as my mother. <laughs> her mother's like, put down my baby. <laughs> Isn't she cute, though? They've gotten really friendly. <laughs> the the mom is like, yep, that's my baby. <laughs> that's so funny. The little boy is so cute. I love, he's my favorite. So my niece got married this summer and she, Jasmine, and she gave me this present today. Dun, 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 dun. I should have guessed, right? Super cute. Oh my God. Dude. Oh my God. Wait, Julia, Jas Julia's like, how about if I get like a chicken and then I play with it for a little while and then I give it to you or a pot belly pig. And now she tries to hold a chicken and it flaps its wings and she loses her mind. Just like that? Yeah. Or hold it close to your body because it's like a living, yeah, breathing so thing. They don't poop on you. It's a baby. Yeah. Oh, more of the reason for it to poop on me. No. Ah, it's moving. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> you just have a big, huge goat. Yeah, I feel like goats are... These things kind of get scary. <laughs> <laughs> Why? It's, it's an afro. Look how cute it is. <laughs> So my family, no, we're the only farmers in our family, except for my one sister, my animal control like sister. Him. Am I gonna break its wings? Like, no. Okay, take my it. animal control sister that works for animal control, she's an <laughs> she's an animal lover. She knows all about animals. But Ellie's like, oh, hold her, give her to me. I want it. <laughs> she really does want it. If you're gonna get a chicken, get a Sophie. 
break its wing. No, no you're not. Ah, no, it's going to break. <laughs> it's just, they don't break. They're not fragile. But look at, see how she has like a blue beak and blue ears, bright mm -hmm. blue earlobes? Isn't Are you she sure cute? it's not going to break its wing? Yeah, I'm positive. What I hold does? them all the time. <laughs> okay, I'm not holding it. <laughs> all right, I do not know why we're hanging out in the oh, chicken coop for so long, but... <laughs> Sophie's insistent on everybody hold every chicken. This one's cute. Yeah. Oh, good. She's a baby. We hatched her. She lays pink eggs. Pink? Yeah. That's my favorite color. Yeah, mine I too. I like this one. Oh, that's weird. Because hardly anybody has pink as a favorite color. But pink's my favorite color. Pink's Jazzy's favorite color. Yeah. Is it actually? Yeah. Well, it's going to be now because I'm sure you're going to have a girl. Ellie really, really, really wants a chicken. The chicken's hiding. <laughs> yeah. okay, here you go. It's starting to move. We went for a big long walk in the woods and I found the mother of all mushrooms. Look at this. Julia, hold it up next to your head. It's a puffer mushroom. Like, look at, we found the mother of all mushrooms. So I gave it to it's my sister. Insane. It's actually insane. Look at that mushroom. It's just sitting there in the woods. So they're going to take it home. You just wash it, cut it. I'm going to freeze some of mine. I'll show you mine. All right. So that's the one we found today. And this is the one that I found the other day that I thought was huge. Like it's huge. <laughs> Don't you know that you're beautiful?